Hey guys, Danny from Denver Print House here today. We're gonna to show you how we set up the rock flocking unit. All right guys, so the first step that we're gonna do here is actually mount the flocking machine to the oval press. We've gotta make sure that we've got a mount that's already on the press. Every single press, the U, the Eco, and the oval, they all require a special mount. So you gotta make sure that you've got the appropriate mount on the machine. The rock flock is on caster, so you can just roll it in, make sure you're centering the machine, insert it in, Adjust your safety bars to make sure that they're activated when you enter the machine and then go ahead and lock it down. So you need to just lock it down using these three spin clamps here. Now that I've got the three uh, spin locks in up top, I'm gonna lower the machine off the casters and level the feet. You want to make sure that the flock machine is sitting on these pads and not the casters. The flocking unit here utilizes a standard rock connection. So you've got your airport, your data cord, and then your power cord. Now that we've got the machine all hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and power it up, grab a screen and check to make sure it's all level. This is the design that we're gonna be using for the flocking today. I went ahead and test printed it. That way I can move it over, insert my screen and check to make sure that the machine is parallel and then also line up the screen. Now that the screen is in, I can go ahead, I can lock it down I can lower the frame and then I can visually inspect to make sure that the screen is level to the pallet. Now that the frame is in the machine, I can go ahead and go to my main option button. I'm gonna press this three times to get to the number three, which is gonna allow me to lower the frame. Now that I'm on three, I can go ahead and push the down button, which is gonna lower this down. With it lowered down, I can verify that the distance between the shirt and the frame is where I want it to be. Typically, we like to see around two to three millimeters of off contact. Now that the machine is parallel, level to the shirt and the pallet, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the frame to the design that's already on this test shirt. I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna verify that my screen is in the right spot. And I'm gonna clamp it down. So the rock flock control panel is very simple to operate. The main button in the center is the option function that kind of controls everything. If I select this, I'm, you're gonna see a number come up. The number one, that controls the brush time. If I want to adjust the brush time, I can go up with it or I can go down with it. Once that's set, then I can hit the main enter control button. Now I'm gonna bring up a number two. The number two controls the flock time. Again, you can adjust this with the up and down arrows. You always want your flock time to be at least one second higher than your brush time. Once that is set, you can hit your option button again. Number three, that option is to allow you to raise the machine and lower the machine down. Lower it down using the lower button, raise it using the raise button. Now that we've got the frame in the machine, we can go ahead and put the flocking box into it. Once it's into the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my card out of the way. Now that I've got the flock box in the machine, I can go ahead and lock it down. I'm gonna clamp it down using each side clamp. Now I can lower the flaps, and this is gonna keep all the flock inside the machine. Now that the flock box is secured into the machine, I can go ahead and connect it. Here's the air connector, the data core, and here's the cord for the electric generator. Now that the machine is hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the flock to it. Now I'm gonna take the top of the box off and insert the flock into the tray.
Now that I've got the machine all hooked up, my test shirt's printed with adhesive, I can go ahead and verify that the machine is working correctly. I've got my electrostatic generator on, I've got my flock on, everything is set. I'm just gonna hit the play button. Now on the first test print, I always like to do it twice to get a little bit more flock down than normal. Just to verify that everything is getting good coverage. Now as you can see, we flocked this image. We've got a really nice coverage of flock there that we can go ahead, flash, and then vacuum this back up. Now that the flock is on the shirt, we can go ahead and flash it in order to cure the flocking into the adhesive. Now that we flashed our flock, we can go ahead and suck it up with a vacuum. This is the last step of the process. We're gonna take all the excess flock off the design. So that's the setup for the rock flocking unit. Thank you for watching.